Hello. In the second part of the amplitude modulation, we will learn frequency spectrum of the AM, bandwidth of AM, and some examples. So let us start with the frequency spectrum of the AM. From part one, we know that amplitude modulated signal is represented by equation E A M of T is equal to V C plus E M of T sine omega C T. Here E M of T is nothing but the information signal. Now in this particular case, let us assume that our information signal is a low frequency sinusoidal wave represented by the equation V M sine omega M T. So this one is our E M of T. Now let us open this bracket. So this sine omega C T will be multiply with both of this term. Now here we can see that omega C is nothing but a carrier frequency and omega M is information signal frequency and carrier frequency is very much higher than the information. Now if you open this bracket then equation become Vc sin omega Ct plus Vm sin omega Ct into sin omega Mt. Now for this second term let us multiply and divide by 2. So here you can see that this is multiplied and divided by 2. Now in numerator you can see that we get the term 2 sin omega Ct into sin omega mt so it looks like a formula trigonometric formula of 2 sin alpha sin beta so let us apply that formula so this becomes cos omega c minus omega mt minus cos omega c plus omega mt so this 2 sin omega ct sin omega mt converted into this term now here we can see that the remaining term is nothing but the Vm by 2. So now with this term let us multiply and divide by Vc. So let us assign the Vm by Vc equals m and m is nothing but the modulation index. We will cover the detail of the modulation index in part 3 of the amplitude modulation. So here Vm by Vc will be replaced by M. So here this Vm by Vc will be replaced by M. So what let is M Vc by 2. So here it is shown that this is M Vc by 2 and in bracket we will get the same term. So here it is the same term. Now let us open this bracket. So this M Vc by 2 terms will be get multiplied with both of the term. Now here let us do one thing convert this sine term into the cos. So this first term will become Vc cos omega Ct minus pi by 2. Second term is as it is. And for the third term let us bring this minus side inside. So minus cos theta become cos theta minus pi. So here the third term become plus mvc by 2 cos omega c plus omega mt minus pi. So in this equation we can see that in this three term three different frequencies are present which are omega c, omega c minus omega m and omega c plus omega m. Now corresponding amplitudes are vc, mvc by 2 and mvc by 2. So by getting this equation let us try to plot the frequency spectrum of AM. Now all of you know that frequency spectrum contains two graph magnitude spectrum and phase spectrum. So let us first try to draw the magnitude spectrum. So here you can see that from this equation it contains three different frequencies. So these frequencies are presented in this graph on the x-axis which is in radian per second. So these frequencies are omega c, 
ओमेगा सी माइनस ओमेगा एम एंड ओमेगा सी प्लस ओमेगा एम एंड कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एम्पलीट्यूड आर एम वी सी बाई टू वी सी एंड एम वी सी बाई टू सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन इजिली प्लॉट द मैग्नीट्यूड स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ द ए एम सिग्नल टू प्लॉट द फेज स्पेक्ट्रम यू कैन सी दैट स्टिल द सेम थ्री फ्रीक्वेंसीज आर प्रेजेंट ओमेगा सी माइनस ओमेगा एम ओमेगा सी एंड ओमेगा सी प्लस ओमेगा एम एंड कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग फेजिज आर माइनस फाइव बाई टू जीरो एंड माइनस फाइव सो सेम फेजिज आर ड्रॉन ओवर हियर माइनस फाइव बाई टू जीरो एंड माइनस फाइव सो दिस रिप्रेजेंट द फेज स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ ए एम सिग्नल विथ इंफॉर्मेशन सिग्नल इज अ साइनोसुडल वेव नाउ The same equation of the AM can be represented by two pi f c. So here, instead of omega c, the same equation is in terms of two pi f. So our magnitude spectrum becomes, let me say, x-axis become in hertz. So the same magnitude spectrum frequencies become f c minus f m, f c and f c plus f m, while the height of the amplitude or magnitude remain the same so this is the magnitude spectrum with x axis in hertz instead of radian per second so here we have completed how to draw the frequency spectrum of the am signal now let us move to the bandwidth of am now we learn that how to draw the frequency spectrum using this equation and this spectrum contains three frequencies fc minus fm fc and fc plus fm now as we know that if you want to find out the bandwidth you we have to find out the maximum frequency minimum frequency and then we have to take the difference so from this spectrum we can see that here the minimum frequency present is nothing but the fc minus fm now maximum frequency present is nothing but the fc plus fm so once you get the minimum frequency once you get the maximum frequency of the spectrum then if you put it into the equation you will get fc plus fm minus fc minus fm so if you carry out some maths you will get the answer 2 of fm that is twice of fm where fm is nothing but the frequency of the information or message signal now the thing is what you can see that this whole band this band is nothing but the twice of fm now here we have consider that our message signal or information signal is a sinusoidal wave having a single frequency fm so this one is the case of a information signal which contain the single frequency yes information contain the single frequency fm now let us consider the case that what if our information signal more than one frequencies so let us again start with the formula of the am signal that my am signal's amplitude is nothing but vc plus em of t where em of t is a information signal now let us consider that my information signal contains two different terms first term is v1 sin omega 1 t and second term is v2 sin omega 2 t so my two terms contain the different frequencies one is omega 1 another is omega 2 and let us consider that my omega c carrier frequency this is this one carrier frequency is very much higher than the omega 2 and omega 1 and also omega 2 is the higher frequency than the omega 1 so two frequencies are present in the information signal so let us replace em of t in this equation by v1 sin omega 1 t and plus v2 sin omega 2t so if you put it over here you will get this equation now let us open this bracket so sin term will be multiply with all three terms so you get vc sin omega ct plus v1 sin omega 1t sin omega ct plus v2 sin omega 2t sin omega ct now as in the previous case let us multiply and divide by 2 over here and let us multiply and divide by 2 over here so your equation will looks like this one 
Now here you can see that in numerator we get the term 2 sin omega 1t sin omega ct. Here also 2 sin omega 2t sin omega ct. So now let us apply the trigonometric formula 2 sin alpha sin beta which is cos alpha minus beta minus cos alpha plus beta. So our equation becomes v1 by 2 cos omega c minus omega 1t minus cos omega c plus omega 1t and our equation become plus v2 by 2 cos omega c minus omega 2t minus cos omega c plus omega 2t. Now in this term sec that is second term and third term let us multiply and divide by vc after multiplication and divided by vc now let us assign v1 by vc equals m1 and v2 by vc equals m2 so here v1 by vc let us assign m1 v2 by vc let us assign m2 and these m1 and m2 are nothing but the modulation index so by putting v1 by vc equal m1 and v2 by vc equal m2 into above equation our equation changes to this one so m1 vc by 2 into this term m2 vc by 2 into this term now here we have considered that omega 2 is greater than omega 1 and m2 is less than m1 so from this equation we can see that five frequencies are present one is omega c another is omega c minus omega 1 third one is omega c plus omega 1 fourth one is omega c minus omega 2 and fifth one is omega c plus omega 2 so if you try to plot it on the magnitude spectrum with the x axis radian per second so these are five frequencies and these are the corresponding amplitude m2 vc by 2 m1 vc by 2 vc m1 vc by 2 and m2 vc by 2 so this one is the magnitude spectrum of our signal amplitude modulated signal which contains or, or which is modulated by information signal having two frequencies omega 2 and omega 1 so let us find out the bandwidth of the same so from this spectrum let us try to find out the f max and f min so here our x axis is in hertz so my f min is nothing but the fc minus f2 and our f max is nothing but the maximum frequency which is fc plus f2 so bandwidth is nothing but the f max minus f min so here in this case fc plus f2 minus fc minus f2 so this become twice of f2 so where f2 is nothing but the highest frequency present in our information signal as we have discussed earlier and f2 is greater than f1 so here you can see that bandwidth is nothing but the two times of the f2 and f2 is the highest frequency so we can generalize the same that bandwidth of am is nothing but the two times of f max of the information signal so here f max sig is nothing but the maximum frequency present in the information or mass signal em of t so here we have completed or derived the equation of the bandwidth of the am so now let us look at some examples so here first example says for the am signal eam of t equal to 4 plus 2 sin 2 pi 1500 t sin 2 pi 10 to 4 t find the spectrum and bandwidth so here we will find the magnitude spectrum so let us start with the basic equation so we know that equation is eam of t is nothing but the vc plus vm sin omega mt into sin omega ct let us compare this equation and this equation and let us find out the values so you can see that vc is nothing but 4 vm is nothing but 2 fm is nothing but 1500 and fc is nothing but 10 is to 4 so here it is written that fm 1500 fc 10000 vm2 vc4 so let us first of all find out the modulation index which is ratio of vm by vc so m becomes 2 by 4 which is nothing but 0.5 so if we try to plot the magnitude spectrum then you can see that since my information contains the single frequency fm so my band 
contains the frequencies fc minus fm fc and fc plus fm so if you put the values or count that so fc will be 10000 fc plus fm is 10000 plus 1500 and fc minus fm becomes 10000 minus 1500 so you got your fc minus fm fc plus fm now bandwidth says what so bandwidth says what bandwidth is nothing but the two times of f max of the signal but since our signal contains only single frequency so my f max of signal is nothing but the fm and that fm is right now 1500 so this is nothing but two times of 1500 which is nothing but the 3000 that you can check it using f max minus f mean so my f max is fc plus fm f mean is fc minus fm which is a 8500 so 11500 minus 8500 you can verify that the band is 3000 which is same as from this formula now this one is the spectrum where height of the frequency we get it by putting the values of m vc and 2 so these are the corresponding heights 1 4 and 1 so here we have found the spectrum of the given am signal and we have also find the bandwidth of the given am signal let us move to the next example next example says an information signal is am modulated which contains 2 kilohertz 5 kilohertz and 7 kilohertz frequencies find out the bandwidth of am signal so from this question we can come to know that in information signal frequency presents are 2 kilohertz 5 kilohertz and 7 kilohertz now if you recall the formula that bandwidth of am is nothing but the twice of f max of the signal where f max of signal is nothing but the maximum frequency present in the signal so we can see that out of this 257 7 kilohertz is f max of the signal so if you put the f max of the signal over here so you can see that 2 into 7 kilohertz which is nothing but the 14 kilohertz which is the answer that bandwidth of our am signal will be 14 kilohertz so here we have carried out the examples also now in summary in this part we learn how to draw the spectrum of the am and how to find out the bandwidth and we also derive the equation of the bandwidth of the am which is nothing but the twice of the f max now in this spectrum one more thing is that the frequencies from fc to fc plus fm are called higher frequency or upper frequency that is higher frequency than the carrier frequency and that particular band is called upper side band and similarly the frequencies from fc minus fm to fc are called lower frequency than the carrier frequency and that complete band is called lower side band so your am band consists of two band one is lower side band and another is upper side band now as additional information we know that amplitude modulated signal is represented by vc plus em of t sin omega ct where em of t is nothing but the information signal message signal or it is also called base band signal so let us assume that the frequency spectrum of the information signal or baseband signal is given by this graph here you can see that the maximum frequency contained by the information signal is nothing but the fm now if you modulate the carrier with this information signal then you got this am signal and if you try to plot the frequency spectrum of the am signal then you will get this kind of spectrum so here you can clearly see that the information signal spectrum which is having the frequencies from 0 to fm see this whole spectrum is shifted to the frequency fc to fc plus fm so in that sense you can see that by performing amplitude modulation 
your lower frequency spectrum or the frequency spectrum of the information signal is shifted to the higher frequency so we can say that modulation also perform the frequency shifting of the spectrum and here you can see that in the spectrum of the am signal the same signal we are getting two times one in the upper side band another in the lower side band and as a result you can see that if maximum frequency present in the information is fm and so that band is fm minus zero which is fm so here you can see that the band of the am signal becomes fc plus fm minus fc minus fm which is nothing but the twice fm so you can see that the band of the am become double than that of the band of the information signal now here you can say that since same information is contained in the both of the band what you can do is to save the bandwidth you can transmit either upper band only or you can transmit either lower sideband only so that scheme is called single sideband transmission but we will not get into that much detail of this thank you